In this video, I want to bring you a story that shows the dangers that lurked in the streets of the East End of London for unwary visitors. In particular, the streets to the east and west of Commercial Street, which in the 19th century had a dreadful reputation for vice and villainy. These streets had a proliferation of common lodging houses on them, and these were seen in many cases as being little more than dens of iniquity and fronts for all manner of evil doings. Robberies were common in them, and strangers entered at their peril, as an Australian sailor found to his cost in a story that was reported in the Australia and New Zealand Gazette on Saturday the 4th of September, 1875. At the Worship Street Police Court the other day, James Crane, 30, a seaman, and Martha Whiting, 33, were charged before Mr. Cook. Crane was charged with stealing a gold watch, gold chain, and a locket, some articles of wearing apparel, and some money of the total value of £40 belonging to Peter Pugh, and Whiting was charged with receiving the same. From the evidence presented, it appeared that the prosecutor was a steward on an Australian packet ship and had recently arrived from Australia, the prisoner Crane being a seaman on the same ship. The prosecutor met the prisoner in Ratcliffe Highway and accompanied him to a public house. Wanting a lodging for the night, he allowed Crane to lead him to a lodging house in Flower and Dean Street, Spitalfields, a very bad neighbourhood, but one with which the prosecutor was unacquainted. He slept in a room with the prisoner and awoke in the morning to find that almost all his clothes with his watch, chain and locket and about eight pounds in gold and silver were gone. Subsequently, Crane was apprehended in company with the woman. In the room which they occupied in Angel Alley, Whitechapel, a waistcoat, afterwards identified by the prosecutor, was found. Crane was also in possession of a duplicate relating to the chain which had been pledged. In the possession of the prisoner Whiting was found the duplicate which she attempted to destroy relating to the gold watch which had been pledged at Greenwich. This, it was proved, Crane had also dealt with and obtained advances on. Crane pleaded guilty to the charge, saying that he was drunk when he took the property. The woman denied all knowledge of the theft. Mr. Cook said that there was not sufficient evidence against the woman, whom he therefore discharged. Crane, however, was sentenced to four months' hard labour.